You're probably going to spin forever trying to grind this down. <laughs> But I'm, I can't extend the front anymore. So let's see. Dang. I might just have to use a cutting wheel to grind these off. Yeah. So. Yeah. The front would be. So basically what I was doing was sanding down these uh, sleeves on the inside. They were a little too long for the off-road cart so I didn't want to remove them so I just took a little grinder and kind of knocked them down a little bit so they could fit in there. Not the prettiest but it works. Alright so we'll go put this one on and see how it fits. Alright, now I've just got to remove. I can't find the tools that fit the stupid thing. So basically, old new replacements. That's what you want to call it. Now I do got to bend these out just a little bit, not much. But when I tighten it down, it should straighten them back out. Fix it. There. See, that one fits. See how easy it was. Love tap. Yeah. Bottom one needs to be spaced out just a little more. I mean, I could have got rid of the sleeves. So let me go get some hard one. I'm going to use the hard work came with it, so I'll be right back. So basically I had to get some new hardware. Uh, didn't find the original, so this will just be on there temporary. Until... Until I find it. Yeah, I see how I said I bent these out. And they just kind of flattened themselves back out when I tightened. So, I mean, it worked for me. Uh, I'm not responsible if you try it on your cart and it ends up breaking these welds. So, you do this at your own risk. But for me, you know, it worked. It pushed them back flat. So, I'm happy with it. Alright, so there we are. We got those. Big hog on there, and it lifted the back end quite a bit. And then this is what we still have on the front. A little bit of stock, so we'll probably get some 150s and throw on the front. As I'm guessing, these might be 150s. I don't know. I'll have to check the source I got it from. But that's it for now for the off-road cart.